Kami kelia Human Rights Commission mentakasi ka pratarik unok pra aja arpulai kala rakhe ye ka International Human Rights Day. Halo ka team Freedom, Equality and Justice for All. Ani ka jingai luit ka jingai rengkat bat ka hok ya baro. Ya kan ijing rakhe la pelong hastir kalbansian center ka wadang ru umuti rangma u kondak sangma. Dr. Ampari Lindo, u chairman ka commission u justice bi bai pei. Kit khot jaga Human Rights Commission ki polit ki sang bahan lang bat ki wei ki wei. Hama keren hakan ni ka jalang na kaliang umuti rangma u kondak sangma u la ong. Bakum kik mi kik pang ngidi mantep ngi kai kumnoi kik kun kik ti hai yang hasam hai kai bedei bakahok nong bai man brio kumnoi ngi keren bakumnoi ru ngi hi kai yaki. Hako jika pol ulak keren ru ya kai jing nong kristan napo aja nambe kai yaha kai bawul aong bakum kik kristan. Kai bakam kong san ya kai long kai bedei man pen i de kik kam om dei tan kik tiin. Susu ulak keren ru halo kai jing sengau lo ni kai jing i para brio. Hai kai bawul aong bakai jing i ya kai jong ajaik brio kai long kai bedei. Tang ba kajik iya ya kan jong ajaik penerio pat kan long ke ba bakla ada dan isi pat ya ki wai. Ula ong ru ba ki pat ba ke di ban bu ke jeng keli ya tadi ke ai ke ba ke la le om dei tang ba ke kerukti tang sa kita ke bana ke bor. Ong la sisa kalong ke ba dei ban ke kerukti ya kita ke bana ke bor ndai ha ke juk ke bor ru dei ban keli ke ai ba ke la ban le na ke liang jong ki simat ban. It starts with every individual realizing that you have a role to play. You can make a difference. You can also be sitting and complaining and looking at something and just talking about how the police is not doing their part, how the MLA is not doing her part, how this officer is not doing his or her part. You can do that also. But you can also start by asking yourself what you are doing. And I think that is the basics of moving forward in real human rights for all the people of our society. And therefore it starts with that. It goes into the families. What kind of values are we teaching our children? What kind of talks are we having inside our own, you know, uh, in our own family? About human rights, about respecting others, about love, about compassion. It goes to families. We know, and I'm pleased, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but some of you may even uh, find this a bit... Uh, uh, not correct, but you know we we all are uh, well Christians mostly, and some are in other religions, and we do believe in Christianity. But then it also starts by practicing of being a good Christian, and I think uh, Justice Waipai will be a person who will be able to speak much more on that, because every time I speak to him, I know that he's a very very religiously very. You know, strong person, and I'm sure that he will speak about that. That's the reason I wanted to hear his speech. Uh, I don't know what he will speak, but I do expect that he will touch on that. But it starts with the family. It starts with religion, on truly being and living the religion that you believe in, that the faith that you have inside yourself. It starts with societies. What kind of talk do we have within our society? Do we talk about hatred for others? Or do we talk about love for our own people and love for others? There are two ways to look at it. I, I keep telling people that there are people who, see, everybody loves their own people, everybody loves their own family, everybody loves themselves. Loving your own family, loving yourself and loving your community is not wrong. That's called being patriotic, loving your people. But when you love yourself and you love your people and you hate others, just to love yourself and your people, to show that the hatred towards others is showing your patriotism to your people, then you are being communal. There's a difference between positive and negative. Patriotism is positive, communalism is negative. The same feeling of love for your community, but love for your community and for others, and love for your community and hatred for others, and proving your love by hating others is being communal. I think these small things are important as a society, as a family, as individuals. Governments, police officials, government officials, politicians. We all have to realize that balancing and being fair in what we do, we will never be able to make everybody happy. I, I say it openly, we can't. Because of many, many factors, resources, other policy matters, one policy will affect somebody, other policy will affect somebody. But when we work towards moving ahead, obviously, apart from following the law, the rules, what we have, I feel, as government, 
what is very important to keep in mind is to always be fair. Always be balanced. And obviously always have these small factors inside your heart as an individual of having compassion as you move forward, of having love and respect for people. And hence all of you, all of us who are present out here, we all have a role to play. I don't want to prolong my speech too much. As I said, this is a very, very difficult subject to speak on, yet very simple also when you look at it from how and where you start. Challenges are huge. We heard Mr. Peter Hanneman speak about the wars that are going on in different parts of the world, the different aspects of how climate change is affecting uh, the human rights aspect, and so on and so forth. So there are a huge number of challenges, and it's, it's very difficult for any program, conference, or groups to, to really come out with uh, any kind of meaningful solution uh, at that scale. Uh, but yes, of course, as I said, it is important to be aware, it's important to realize the challenges we face, and realize that at the end of the day, we have to work towards ensuring that the human rights that are there, and especially the theme for this year, which is freedom, equality, and justice for all. Small steps and small things you do, the small thoughts you have inside your mind and your heart, it starts with those small thoughts and steps. So with these few words, I once again really wish all of you uh, the best on the International Human Rights Day. And uh, I hope that uh, we will go out of this hall uh, feeling that positivity in our hearts and in our minds and going forward with the thought that what can I do today, tomorrow and in the rest of my life to make a positive difference in every individual's life. Small things can make a difference. The 10 seconds that I give to the person who's waiting outside my house at 2 a.m. in the morning can change a person's life. That small step are small things you can do to make a human being's life important. And I think that is what I would like you to go away from this room with that thought in your mind today. So once again, I thank you for this conference and thank you for inviting me and once again wishing